Hi guys, it's your girl Susie here and I'm here with another farming video. Now in today's video what I'm doing is I'm sowing some seedlings, right? So I'm using 200 trays and I'm using a potting mix to fill the trays so I can sow the seeds inside. Now I have used the trays to um, make an indention in the dirt. You want to make it like about half a centimeter down. You don't want to go too deep or else it just lost the seed and it won't bust. And this is the potting mix that I'm using. You want to stir it up because sometimes it can be lumpy so you want to take your hands in there and get out all the lumps out of the dirt. Those are 200 trays as I said before. So today I'm sowing broccoli imperial broccoli and this is 2,500 broccoli seeds. I'm going to show you guys what the broccoli seeds looks like. They're blue in color. They're very easy to pop though. Yeah, so that's what they look like. Now guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and drop a comment and share with all your friends. Now I'm putting in the seeds in the um in the hole. You want to make sure to put one seed per hole because you don't want two and three after them burst you don't want two and three to burst up in there so putting in one single seed in the dirt so each time you go ahead you put one seed one seed as you can see i finished trade that those as well so as you can see there's no two seeds no three seeds only one seed per hole yes guys so as I was saying before, don't forget to subscribe to my video and give us a thumbs up and share of course. Now I'm covering the seedlings and you want to make sure you do this very, very carefully because you don't want to bounce all them seeds out of the hole. So you cover it with dirt, just a light amount of dirt and you want to make sure to take all them lumps out. Or else if you have lumps in it the seed won't burst through the lumps it'll be very hard to fight through that lump yes guys so you just cover it with dirt and take your hand and pat it down so that when you're watering the seed don't come out so you want to pat that down and you want to do this right over the tray evenly okay fill that up with dirt Guys, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification sign beside it as well so you can be notified when I post a video. People are always down on me about farming organically. I'm telling you guys, organically farming can be very expensive and I can't afford it. Seriously, I can't afford to farm organically. So whenever you so whenever you're gonna um grow a farm, right? You're gonna burn the land at pro probably about um four weeks before you're ready to plant, so you can get the land ready. So you burn the land with weed killer or whatever burner you want to use. You burn the land about four weeks before, so you can get that land ready. So within two weeks time, the land's supposed to be burned properly. All the, all the bush and something's supposed to dead, so you can go in and get that land cleared out and then you can um, get the land ready for the seedlings because these will be ready in about four, approximately four weeks time and I don't think it can stay in longer than six weeks or the, plant, the plants are going to die. So you don't want to keep it for longer than probably four and a half weeks before you, you remove it from the tree or else they begin to quilt and die. So I'm just covering that up now guys. Making sure it's covered properly. And guys, farming can be very, very time consuming. So, you know you have to take your time whenever you're farming. Whenever you're planting these seeds, it can be very stressful. I'm telling you on your back. So guys, this is uh, my hybrid 
Caribbean queen cabbage seeds. That's what it looked like. Yeah, those are the cabbage seeds. Now guys, I'm gonna show you how to indent the holes in the tray. So you put a tray on top of the next and you press gently onto that top tray. You press gently. You don't wanna go, you don't wanna press too hard because you're gonna go too deep. So you press gently and it leaves the little indentation right there. And if it go too deep, all you have to do is just flip back with little dirt and take your finger and just poke it. So guys, I have watered the trays. I finished sewing and I've watered the trays. You want to make sure after you sew the tray, you're supposed to water it at the same time. So I came out this morning to water the, um, the trays. And already I'm seeing signs of the seedling emerging from the from the dirt. There you have it. The seedling has emerged from the dirt. And I I set these trays on Saturday and today is Monday. And I think this one is um this is the broccoli because you can see the broccoli. You can see the broccoli shield right there. That's the broccoli shell right there. So this is the broccoli that has burst already. So they don't take that long to emerge from the dirt as some other plant like peppers. Peppers take about seven to ten days before they start to see any sign of emerging or anything like that so yes guys these are emerging already so within within two days time every, everything will um, burst from the ground Mm, yep. And whenever you sow seeds in tray, seedlings in tray, you want to water it every morning so you, because you want to keep the dirt moist, very moist, so that the seed can swell and they can burst. So again guys, this is probably just like two days because I saw this Saturday morning, so you have Sunday and no, today is, so today is Monday, so probably two days. So as I said before, these are the broccoli. It's start to emerge already. Small seedlings right there. Yeah, another one right here. So I'm just gonna go over to the car, to the cabbage side and see. Examine these a little closer. This is a seed. It's come to the ground. So, I think I'm going to sink that box as that might be a seed. And you want to be very careful when watering 
this dirt because the seed will flow on top because as I show you before you can't really put the seed too far in the dirt because it will take too long to burst and it will rot off before they even burst so you're gonna have one and two seedlings that coming up. oh look it's beginning to pop in it's popping it's popping it's popping see that right there Starting to, to come true as well. Oh my god. Yeah. Look there, it's starting to pop. Look at that. The cabbage has started to burst as well. So that's good. But not as fast as the, um, the broccoli because. So the one that I see coming through right there. I think I'm taking a closer look. I think that's the only one. This is a um, cabbage, as you can see I showed it earlier. This is what the cabbage seed looked like. This is what the cabbage seed had looked like. You can see it start merging with the cabbage with the seeds at the top. So if you look closer, you could see the plant coming through the seed. So the seed does pop. Like boom. So yes. That is a cabbage seed right there. So guys, it's now Tuesday morning. And as you can see, almost every single plant has boss. Remember yesterday I showed you guys, it was popping like one one. No, almost every single one has emerged from the dirt. So these right here are the cabbage. This one right here, and then over here you have the um, the broccoli, and they have emerged nicely. These will be ready to plant like within four weeks. So within four weeks it can be transplanted into the ground. And you want to make sure you, you wet these every single morning whether the dirt is dry or not because you want to keep them very moist not too moist though but you want to wet them you want to water these every morning and evening so you water it in the morning and you water it in the evening that's it guys let me look for a little something Oh look, greenhouse thing. <laughs> this is to keep away the rain from damaging the plant. So try that thing. So, yeah. 